What is AML? So AML stands for acute myeloid leukemia, which is actually the most common acute leukemia in adults. Uh, so leukemia is a blood cancer, and acute myeloid leukemia is uh, where the cells from the bone marrow behave uh, aggressively and they affect normal blood cell production. Uh, so like most leukemias, they are potentially curable, uh, and AML is usually treated with chemotherapy. What are the treatment options? Uh, most of the time, it's with chemotherapy. Uh, and then nowadays, with the new advances in medicine, there are also targeted therapies that are often added to the chemotherapy backbone that will help the leukemia to respond better. Whether or not a, a blood stem cell transplant is required, the answer is maybe. Because there are uh, there are some acute uh, myeloid leukemias that are so curable uh, that they may not require a blood stem cell transplant at all. For instance, acute promyelocytic leukemia is one of the most curable leukemias, in fact, one of the most curable cancers out there. And uh, it's curable nowadays even with just targeted agents in 90 over percent of patients. One of the greatest success stories uh, for hematology. Um, on the other hand, there are some leukemias that are very resistant to chemotherapy. And how we determine this often is by the tests that we do uh, on the bone marrow that is extracted. We will look for the presence or absence of certain mutations, and this can be detected within the uh, cancer cell uh, by looking at the chromosomes of the cancer cell, by doing PCR or next generation sequencing on the cancer cell. This allows us to know what mutations are present, and these gives us uh, of two major lots of information. One, it helps us to classify the patient's leukemia into good risk, intermediate risk, and bad risk. And the second thing is some of these mutations have specific agents that can target them. And so this can help us to uh, tailor make our therapy, to personalize it for the patient. Uh, then based on how the patients respond to the chemotherapy, as well as the presence or absence of some of these mutations, as we classify them into the various groups, it tells us how likely the patient is to respond and be cured with chemotherapy alone. So for the patients who are in the good risk group, the majority of them can be cured with chemotherapy alone. On the other hand, those who fall into the intermediate risk and the poor risk group, these patients uh, will often benefit from doing a blood stem cell transplant from somebody else. Blood stem cell is like the seeds uh, within the bone marrow. They are the, the root that gives rise to the rest of the normal blood cells, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the platelets. Um, so all of us have some uh, blood stem cells inside our bone marrow, and this is what produces the, the, the blood cells that flow through our bloodstream. So in leukemia, what happens is that there may be mutations uh, and a diseased blood stem cell. So in order to uh, prevent relapse, even if after a patient has gone into remission with chemotherapy, um, many patients may benefit from a blood stem cell transplant. Uh, these blood stem cells uh, will be donated from another donor. Uh, and uh, the donor will have the blood stem cells harvested from their blood or directly from the bone marrow, and they will be infused into the patient uh, who had leukemia. Um, this does two things. One, of course, it replaces a diseased bone marrow with a healthy bone marrow from a donor. But more importantly, what also happens is that the recipient uh, will then have what is called a donor-derived immune system. This is essential uh, because it is our immune system that keeps leukemia in check. It is our immune system that keeps diseases and keeps uh, cancer in general in check. Uh, so since the immune system is actually derived from the blood, blood cells to begin with. By doing the blood stem cell transplant, the patient then acquires a new immune system, and this actually comes from the donor. And this is the reason why doing a blood stem cell transplant is the best way uh, for preventing leukemia from relapsing. So if you'd like to find out more about leukemia or on blood stem cell transplants, find out more from your hematologist.